welcome back to my channel. I am Melanie from Sticker Designs by Mel. One day, very soon, we'll have a slightly different name, but you'll have to wait for another video to hear about that. I just got home from cheer. It's like nine o'clock and the girls are doing their homework. Boy is helping them um, just get some stuff ready. I had to like come down right away because I got something today in the mail that I'm so excited. So you can even tell my hair is like messy. Makeup is like not perfect. Today was picture day at school actually. Um, but it was a day. So makeup is a little worn off and anyways, didn't have to be perfect. Right. Okay. So I got something in the mail today and I'm so excited. I feel like I'm in I don't know if you call it a new season of planning, but I find my planning changing. My planning style in terms of stickers is still somewhat the same. I still like my sticker kits. I like the things. Um, but I do find the planners that I'm choosing for specific jobs, specific parts of my life are changing. Um, so, and you may have realized, so what last year I started adding the Hobonichi to my planner lineup, love the Hobonichi, love the paper. Um, and I was totally happy. I, I was, con I was convinced that for 2025, I would get another ha Hobonichi cousin and I would get the Hobonichi weeks and I would use them. Although I have to preface this. I just found my Hobonichi Weeks after months of it being missing, so I haven't really used it. Like, I tried out a few kits in it, but I haven't actually used it, so I have pretty much a blank Hobonichi Weeks. My cousin, however, I did use it here and there, definitely not as much as I wanted to, but that's beside the point. I was convinced that Hobonichi was going to make a 100% appearance in my 2025 lineup. I haven't fully decided my lineup for next year, but I am starting with some of my basics. So Erin Condren has always been a tried and true for me. So I'm almost for sure going to say that the Erin Condren Life Planner will reappear in my my lineup. Um, so the Vertical Life Planner is the one I use for my weeklies and my monthlies and all the things, like all the pretty stuff that I leave here. Then I got the Erin Condren Compact Vertical in the 7 by 9 size, which I was so excited that they came out with that size um, because I need more room. I had used it before when it was an A5. I loved the layout, but it wasn't enough room. And that's, I think, when I started using the Happy Planner dashboard layout um, because it's very similar, um, but it had more room. So those, I think... I'm pretty confident, those two Erin Condren's, I'm confident that I will most likely be using them in my 2025 planner lineup. This that I just got in the mail is a planner that I'm adding to my planner lineup for right now, and I'm going to try it for the next couple months. But if it is as good as I think it's going to be, this may be a game changer for me. So you may also have seen a video previously. I reviewed two new Sterling Ink planners, new to me. They're 2024 versions. One of them is an A5 vertical, I want to say an A5 vertical, and a B6. I'll have to double check, but I have two of them, a B6 and an A5. The A5 that I got, they're both secondhand-ish. One of them was slightly used. The other one was pretty much brand new. So the A5 I've been using as my teacher planner because I didn't have another teacher planner. And the B6, um, I've been using kind of like as a daily keep track of things. I've actually been really enjoying it. One thing that I was really blown away about Sterling Inc. was the complete, and I do mean complete, neutrality of the, the layouts. Like, complete. There is no color. The only thing are the lines, the 
grayish black of the lines and the letters and the, the words, but no other color. So it's almost an identical to Hobonichi, obviously different layouts, but similar, but no color. So there's none of that red on the weekends or the gray, you know, highlighting or whatever you want to call it, the boxes that are filled in gray or in red. So it's fully, fully neutral. So that's why I think it's going to be a game changer because I like having a blank slate pretty much so that I can make it my own. I can decorate it how I want. I can add the colors I want and I don't feel like I have to cover something up if I don't feel like it, right? Right now with the Hobonichi, I feel like I always have to cover up the red parts or the, the shadowed gray parts because I don't want them interfering with my spread or however I design it. Um, also the quotes and all that kind of stuff. A lot of times I find myself trying to find things to cover them up because I feel like it's competing with what I'm trying to put together on the page. So Sterling Ink so far has been blowing me away. So I had to place an order. So the owner of Sterling Ink, Catherine, um, Again, I'm not 100% sure of all the dates, but I do get the impression that Sterling Inc. is still relatively new to the planner world, but it's blowing the planner world away, can I just say. Um, so this year, she decided, rather than doing a pre-order, she already has stock of all the planners, and she did reviews, videos, showing all the planners, all the layouts, all the colors, all the things available. Um, and she's broken it down into three releases. So the releases were September 1st for like Pocket, Passport, B5, B6, I think, a few other sizes, I can't remember. And then on September 8th, which was this past Sunday, were the N1, the N2, and I think another one. And those are similar to like the Hobonichi Weeks or Traveler's Notebook. And again, don't quote me on any of this. I'm going by memory. And then next Sunday, so the 15th, um, is going to be an A5 and the Daily Planner and I think something else. So on September 1st, I was out in the woods, but um, I drove my car to make sure that I was within internet or data area zone um to be able to place an order so i placed an order uh this is what i'm hoping will be my new teacher planner i have discussed before i have tried so many different teacher planners aaron condren happy planner no name just all of them even some that are supposed to be made for teachers I've tried so many of them, and sorry, I'm really congested because my allergies are off the charts, but I tried so many of them, and a lot of them I find are either geared towards elementary teachers, which a lot of the things do work for me, but a lot of them don't. Like, yeah, no. Um, and then some of them have other layouts that don't work for my school, how we have our schedule, all the kind of things. And I find more and more with school boards and schools having slightly more autonomy on how they schedule their classes, the time they start, the times they finish, um, how many periods a day they have, how many lunches they have. I know some schools have two lunch periods and it alternates and so on. So... I wanted something that I can modify that has the space I need um, and I can modify it to do what I need it to do. I don't need all the grid pages for writing down marks. I keep all my marks online. We have an online system now for that so I keep all that there. So with my marks being online all I really needed was something to keep all my lesson planning, my forward planning, my back planning, my meeting notes, my 
parent phone call or parent email notes, like all the things that I need as a teacher. I don't even need it for seating plans because I keep my seating plans in my Google Drive as well. So there are a lot of things that come in a regular teacher planner that I don't need. Um, a lot of them are now mandated by my school board anyway to be online in the online systems that they provide. So I don't need them on paper. So a lot of the paper is a waste of space in the planners. So I have this. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it for you. It just arrived today. So today's September 10th. I ordered it on September 1st. The release was September 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern. I literally placed the order and I have the date stamp, time stamp on my order at 10.01 a.m. It literally took me less than a minute to find the product I wanted, add it to the cart, and check out because I knew exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and then I'm going to do a top-down view and show you what I ordered, give you a quick flip through because otherwise we're going to be here for an eternity. I've already been talking a whole long time, um, but I want to show you what I got, what the layout looks like, show you how neutral it is because that is one of the things that really, really appeals to me. And then, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. I'm going to try it out, like I said, for a couple months, but I have a feeling that this may be, and I'm, I'm hoping, hoping that this may be my new teacher planner. And if it is, then I will get a new one to do the second half of the year because this is a 2025 planner. So I plan on going, well, I'll explain later, but I do plan on going in the second half of the year to do right now. So anyways, let's go to top down so I can show you what is in this box. Okay, so here we go. We are top down. So all I did literally was just cover my address. I haven't even opened the tape. So I honestly didn't even clear off my desk. So if any of my papers end up in this shot, I apologize. Usually I clear off everything so that I can have a 100% clean desk when I'm filming, but whoops, this was just too exciting. And I know that I'm going to want to bring this to work with me tomorrow to try it out. So here we go. All right, we open it. It's very well packaged. And just like when I got the B6, which was brand new, there's a little card, a little envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Should be a little freebie. Yes. So we have this gorgeous little sticker sheet. And I would love to know where she gets this sticker paper because it's clear on the back. And this is essentially like washi. It's washi paper that you can print on and create stickers. Like this, this is heaven for me. I would love this stuff. So um, I'm excited about this and I'm loving the colors. And then there is the thank you card with the QR code. I love it. So here, QR code in case anyone's interested, Sterling Inc. You will not be disappointed. All right, let's go ahead. Let's show you what I got. Ooh, bubble wrap. It's very well packed. I will keep the bubble wrap because I can use it to pack some of my customers' orders. So look at that. Look at how well it's packed. It comes with a box. So it's like well packaged. It even has a window to show what planner it is. You can sneak peek to the color. I love it. Okay, so we're opening. Let's see. I'm loving this right now. Can I just tell you? Okay. So it comes with this. Ooh, I just saw this on Instagram. She said she was including these prints as freebies. And on the back are all the 2025 months. So you can use this like as a, a tip in or an insert or anything you want to do. And I love on her months, she adds what week it is. So it's like first week, second week, all the way to the 52nd week. Love, like love that little attention to detail. So this is a gorgeous print too. Uh, you can't even see the whole thing because it's large. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just put this off to the side. And here is my gorgeous planner, which is also so large that it doesn't fit in 
the frame of my camera. Anyways, it's a gorgeous planner. This is the mist color. So it's like this beautiful, I want to say almost like a dusty blue. So like a grayish blue. It's gorgeous. Can I just say? Um, it is the B5 compact. So B5 horizontal. So horizontal layout. It's the B5 size and it's compact. By compact, what it means, it is a full year. So it's from January to December 2025. But compact means it has half of the notes pages at the back compared to the full version, which would have like 300 and some odd pages at the back. So let me go ahead and open this and show you the layout. Now, I also got this. It was only available in the mist color. So this version of this planner, so being the B5 horizontal compact, was only available in this mist color. Um, but I did get to choose if I wanted the white pager, sorry, the white pages on the edge or the gold. And of course I got the gold. I mean, come on now, if you know me, you know, I'm going to go with the metallic. I love the feel of this. Like, look at how it's so it's flimsy, but not flimsy in like a bad way. Usually we use flimsy in a, in a bad way, but in this sense, the fact that it's so malleable I don't know if that's the right word um is exactly what I'm hoping for so anyways beautiful gold writing here stamping all right so we open it up now the one thing I have learned from watching all the sterling ink videos the gilding on the edge the gold will make some of the sheets stick a bit to each other but it releases very easily it's just because they gild the edges after it's all bound together all right, so we go together. We have like one dust page. We have the title page, this 2025 common planner, and it says the kind. It's a B5 horizontal compact full year. Then it starts right away with the 2025 year, and this is Tomo River paper. For anyone interested, Tomo River paper is gorgeous. It's very thin paper, but crazy durable, like crazy. So 2025 months. Then we have two grid pages. You can add anything you want on there. Then we have our goals. Now, this is something that I find absolutely amazing about the Sterling Inc. She has included a goal section. Now, I use the Goals with Lakin planner, her goal planner. So I don't need, this won't be my only goal section, let's just say. I will, however, use the Goals with Lakin goal setting planner and use what information I put there and transcribe it here for my bigger goals. Any of the goals that I want to have with me that I might be working on outside of the home. So I think this is fabulous. And for anyone who isn't setting goals in any other fashion, this is super helpful. That way, you know, you have a space where you can always put your goals. So the way it's broken down, you have a goal breakdown. So the main goal someday what you'd like to accomplish someday what you'd like to accomplish in one year in half a year quarterly monthly weekly and daily you can break that sucker down all the way down to daily if that's what you want so depending on the goal that might be something you might want to do then you turn the page and this is new for 2025 Again, I was watching the video. So this layout is new for 2025. It is the 2025 yearly tracker. This is like the perpetual calendar, I guess you can call it, from the Happy Planner. I am in love with this. Like, I was so excited to see this. I don't know exactly what I'm going to put in here yet, but I do know that I will find a purpose and I'm going to love it. So you basically have all 12 months all every day of the week and then you have a space where you can add anything if this were your personal planner and or even your health planner you could track your steps every day or you could track your calorie intake every day you could do a word of like a word every day so if you're doing I don't know some sort of challenge where you have different words every day and you practice your handwriting you could do that 
this is like so open to however you want to use it. I just love it. Then you turn the page and it goes into the quarters, which again, I think is amazing because this is not only wonderful for us business owners, but it's also wonderful for people. I mean, breaking things down into a quarterly fashion is not only for business. It can work for your home projects, it can work for family uh, gatherings or anything else you're trying to do. If you break it down by quarter, it's so helpful. So she's included quarterly sections. So you have quarter Q1. So quarter one is January to March. You have the priorities for the quarter. And then you have three boxes, January, February, March. You can write what the priorities are for each month. And then on the side here, you have, again, the three months, January, February, March. You break it down exactly what you need to be doing those months. You have each day of the month here written down. You can add specific notes beside each day. And you have three big boxes down here that you can add more notes. So you have all four quarters, so Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Brilliant, can I just say. And again, are we all noticing how neutral everything is? Please tell me you're seeing this. Then we go right into the months. This does start with the monthly for December 2024. That way you have it um, if you need to reference it. If you know, you're about to jump into the planner, you're not going to start exactly on January 1st. So you can start December 2024, start setting things up, get a feel for it, and then you go. Again, notice 100% neutral. There is no shading. There is no color. There is nothing. You can make this 100% your own. And that's one of the things I've been loving so far about the Sterling Ink. So then you have all of your months so all 12 months, so that's November 2025, December 2025, January 2026 for forward planning. So you get two extra months, one for pre-planning and one for forward planning. Excellent, so helpful. After all the months, you get the last week of 2024, so essentially December 30th. Um, until January 5th, right here. Horizontal, of course. I chose horizontal for a reason, which I will explain once I go through the whole setup. But this is the first week of the year. So it says week one at the top. It has the date, so December 30th to January 5th. Horizontal, and then this whole page is just blank. It's just all grid. So I will be able, this is what I, kind of what I'm thinking put my classes, because I have three classes per day, put my three classes here, a quick synopsis of what I'm teaching in each class. Then here, I can break this down, put more information, basically, if I need to photocopy anything, if any marking needs to be done, if any reports need to be printed. And then I'm thinking at the bottom, maybe any issues with any students, any concerns I may have, any phone calls I may need to make, emails I may need to make, and also any extracurricular things that I might be involved with, I can all list here. Um, that is for one week. So one week, two pages, this B5, I believe is like a 10 by 13. So, you know what? Let's just, let's just, this ruler is dirty. Please apologize. I apologize, but just disregard. So this is a, yeah, almost a 10, oh, 10, 7 by 10, sorry, 7 and a half ish by 10. So it's a big planner. It's almost like a full size paper on one side. I think it's amazing. So you have all of your weeklies. They're all the same horizontal with the um, blank grid paper. I always want to say squared. It's grid paper. You go all the way to the end. Let's see, November. It does have these shaded he tabs here. This is for the month. So this shows you that it's November. I am going to be designing some tabs that I can put in here so it'll be easier to flip, but that will come later. So let me just get through the end of December. So we're at December 2025 to December 28th. This is December 29th to January 4th. And then that's it. So this is the last weekly. 
So it says week one because technically we're back at week one. So this is the last weekly page. After that, all you get is a whole bunch of grid paper, both sides grid paper. The entire rest of this book is just grid paper, like nothing else. And one thing that I find brilliant is when this grid paper starts at the bottom, I don't know if you can see, it has a one. These pages are numbered. Like, please tell me you do not see how amazing that is. So the pages are numbered. Reason I'm so excited about that. As I'm in my weeklies, let's say I write a note about my lesson here and I write a note here about a student. If I need to go in more detail and I don't want this open on my desk where students may see, I may put like reference page, I don't know, reference page 43. And I might be writing it on page 43, exactly what happened. Obviously, because I don't put really personal information in these planners, in case a student comes across it, I'll put abbreviations for the students' names. Um, but at least this way I can reference the page. So I don't have to read through all my pages to try and find where it was I wrote whatever about whichever student. So I am so excited about this. One other thing I'm noticing, and this is not something I noticed in the flip through videos. This is a grid, but it does have, I don't know if you can see, see these darker dots every so often. So there's a darker dot here, a darker dot there, and then there's darker dots. It looks like they're broken into sections. So one, two, three horizontally and then one two three four vertically so this is helpful if you need to like separate your page it's already separated for you so like this is the middle point so if I wanted to just break this page into two I could just draw a line right down I know where the middle point is because of that dot brilliant again I love it it's like it's the little details you know so once you get through all of the grid paper, you just get to the back page. You have one more like dust cover and then the cover. Now, if you noticed while I had this open, do you see how flat this lays? I'm off, I'm almost out of frame, but it lays like super flat and I haven't had to push it down or force it. I just flip the page and it, it lays flat. Like this is, one thing that I'm loving, and I think that's why I really love this cover, the fact that it's so bendy is once I open it, although this paper is very thin, it still lays very flat. So I don't have to worry about holding it down or pinning it down so I can read and see what I'm doing. It just stays. So I'm so excited. All right. Anyways, this is the beautiful sterling ink b5 horizontal compact in the mist color so this is what i'm going to try for my teacher planner it's like i planned it my nails are so close to the color but it's what i plan on using as my teacher planner for the next couple months and we'll see how it goes if i love this my plan is to get the same planner the b5 horizontal however i will get the full version. And like I said, this one has, it has 119 grid pages at the back. I do believe that the full version has like 360, almost like 365 pages. So if you wanted to do a page per day, you could have a page per day. So it makes it slightly thicker. Like look how thin this is. It's so nice. And look at the detail. I love it. Um, so this is thin, so it'd make it a little thicker because you'd have double the amount of grid pages at the back, but I think it will be worth it. So if I love this, I will be getting the larger one. So this is September 2025. So this is where I'm going to start. Obviously, the dates I'll have to modify. It's not horrible. I'm not opposed to it. Um... I just really wanted to try it. So anyways, 
that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. I'm beyond excited to try out this planner. If you have never looked at Sterling Ink and you love the Hobonichi, but you have issues with that color, the red or the quotes and stuff, do yourself a favor. Go look at the Sterling Ink. Honestly, don't even take my word for it. You can try and find a used planner, um, a planner that somebody purchased and no longer wants, whatever. Honestly, you will not regret it. This is absolutely amazing. I love it. I'm just, I'm blown away. So that's it for me. I wanted to show you this planner so that I could show it to you but also for me because now I want, I can use it. So I had to get this open because now I want to use it. All right. I'm going to go. I've talked to you guys enough about this gorgeous planner. Go check it out. If you do leave me a comment down below, let me know if you went to check it out, what you think. If you are already a user of Sterling Inc., if you already have a Sterling Inc. planner, let me know which one you have. Are you buying a new one for 2025 or have you already bought one? Just give me all the details. I would love to know. So that's it. I will see you next time. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great night.